Hello everyone, this is Jason with Shy Snake Games, and today I'm going to show something a little different. I'm going to show you a debug visualization of what our artificial intelligence sees when it's operating the NPCs. So the first thing I'm showing, uh, you can see it right here on the screen, is this is one of our test maps. The building you're seeing is an actual building uh, that will appear on some of the maps. And you'll see that most of the ground is drawn in black. And the reason we're doing that is it's going to highlight just the areas uh, that have something interesting. In this case, uh, you'll see these blue markers where the doors are. I'm going to tilt the camera a little bit here so you can see it better. And when the AI moves a character, uh, and needs to go through a door, this is just kind of a visualization of what it sees as passable. So now I'm going to show you a more interesting one. And this will be what the AI sees as things that block its movement. And the colorization is for X and Y direction. So when you look at this, you'll see a lot of things in blue, and that means the AI knows that it can't move through that area. And on the left and right side, you'll see red, uh, same meaning. And in some corners, you see both uh, that are orange. But the idea here is when the map is created, uh, we go ahead and compute this, and that way the AI has all this information available when it needs to move a character around. Now, this is probably not the most interesting part of what we've been working on. So I'm going to show another one. So this is similar to the walls, but this is actually what the AI perceives as potential cover. And I use the word potential because these are areas that when the AI is in combat with the player, that it will consider for cover. It doesn't necessarily mean that these will be cover points depending on where the player is standing, where the AI is standing. But we pre-generate this list so that the AI has the ability to quickly reduce the area it needs to look. So when it needs to consider places, we only have to consider the colorized areas uh, for the AI and that'll greatly improve performance. So I'm actually going to pull the camera up and we have a couple other areas where I can show you. So for instance here, um, I need to tilt the camera a little bit for you. You'll see that you're getting a green out in the open and you might ask why. And the reason for it is there is a slope here. And you'll also see that there's different intensities. So this dark green area indicates that that cover is only potentially viable if a character is prone laying on the ground. If you're crouching or standing up, that area is of no value. But you'll see, for instance, by these trees, they're the bright colors. And those indicate you can be completely standing and that tree will still potentially provide cover. And when you look at the edges of these buildings, you'll see that same bright color along the edge. But for something like this planter, you see a intermediate color. And that means that that would provide cover while you're prone or potentially crouching. But if you stand up, it's not going to do you uh, as much good. So I'm going to show another building. Um, with this building, you'll see that there are cover points around the vehicles in addition to the building itself. We actually consider all geometry uh, for potential cover. And we do this when the map loads. One of the things we still have to do is to our or add in our editor a list of what kind of cover something provides. In other words, is it just visual obstruction? Will it stop projectiles? Will it stop heavy projectiles? Uh, that information will be added soon uh, and it'll integrate with the rest of the system. So I'm going to exit this level and I'm going to restart it. And I'm going to do this with the cover visualization still enabled. And I want to show you another trick we're doing. It's going to take it just a second for it to reload. This actually goes faster in standalone. Uh, being in the editor slows things down a, a little bit. 
but we generate the cover on the fly now so that when the level loads uh, you can start moving around immediately but you'll see it actually progressing away from where I'm standing and if I go to a high view you can see it actually even better uh, if there are NPCs on the map they will also get priority treatment near where they're standing in case they need to quickly seek cover or do something else and so this runs in the background after the map is loaded you can immediately start moving around if you want uh, the frame rate's a little lower while that's going on but as soon as it completes it picks right back up the last thing i want to show is the change we've made to doors in the past if you wanted to go through a door you would have to click near the door to walk up to it then click on the door to open it and then click somewhere on the other side to move on past it. In the process of working on our AI, we improved the way the NPCs deal with doors, and after observing that, we decided to apply those same changes to the way the PCs would deal with doors. And so I'll demonstrate. I'll move our character through a couple doors here so you can see how it works. And one of the things you'll notice is the door moves out of the way as the character approaches. Uh, we did this so you wouldn't have to stop, wait for the door to move, and then continue on. Now, you can also still do things the way you used to. I'll wait, the doors are set to auto-close in a short time here, but you can still click near a door if, for instance, you wanted to set up an ambush, and that will allow you to uh, coordinate your players by getting them in position without having to trigger the door opening as you approach it. So I'll show you here, I'll just turn the camera and run up to it. And that's actually closer than the distance it would normally auto open, but we check the path of where you're trying to get to, and unless it's on the other side of the door, the door doesn't move. And we're doing this just to make the game a little better quality of life-wise. And with that, thank you for watching. As always, Feel free to check at spydna.com or shysnake.com for updates. Thanks for watching. Bye.